Hi, my name is Andy, and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install the Easy Mount cabinet into your facility's pre existing wall. You may have found this video as a result of the recently adopted NFPA 101 and ADA standards that now limit you to four inches of protrusion into circulation paths and paths of egress. The enforcement of these standards can cause compliance challenges for your currently installed fire extinguishers. The Easy Mount cabinet was designed with these standards in mind. And as you'll see, the installation is easy and can be done without the need for outside professionals. Easy mount cabinets can help facilities save a tremendous amount of time and money, and best of all, can help bring your facility back up to compliance. So with all that said, let's begin. First, we need to determine how many of your facility's currently installed fire extinguishers may have a compliance challenge. To do this, we need to identify any extinguisher that's mounted in corridors, circulation paths, or other paths of egress that encroach more than the allowed four inches. As every five pound and 10 pound round fire extinguisher has a diameter of more than four inches, this is pretty easy. Simply count all the surface mounted fire extinguishers in your facility. Next, I want to ensure that each fire extinguisher is mounted no higher than 48 inches above the floor. I can do this by measuring from the floor to the access point of the extinguisher, which is the handle. The ADA installation for accessibility is 15 inches to 48 inches, and I want to make sure that I'm in that safe zone. The extinguisher that I have here is mounted above the ADA safe zone, which means I need to lower it. Unfortunately, we can't stop there. Lowering the extinguisher alone does not address all of the issues, as the extinguisher still projects into the corridor more than the allowed four inches. This particular extinguisher protrudes off the wall about five and a quarter inches. Therefore, I'll need to recess this into my pre-existing wall. But since my wall was built with standard two by fours, the wall isn't deep enough to fully recess an extinguisher that's around five and a quarter inches in diameter. That leaves me with a semi-recessed cabinet option, which will allow my extinguisher and my cabinet to project under the four inch maximum and avoid any citations from an inspector. Now I know what you're probably thinking. This sounds expensive, challenging, and hard to operationalize. I'm gonna have to open the wall, frame the new cabinet, install the cabinet, and then patch, paint, and clean up. Well, before the Easy Mount cabinet existed, that would be the case. However, I'm about to demonstrate how you can complete this challenge on your own at a fraction of the cost and in under 10 minutes. Sound too good to be true? It's not. Okay, so I've ordered my cabinets. They've just arrived and I'm ready to install these on my own. Before I do anything, I want to ensure that I have the proper PPE on to ensure my safety from any accidental injuries. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some goggles and some gloves. The first thing that I'm gonna do is locate the studs in the wall and measure to the center as I wanna make sure that I'm at least one inch away from the inside edge of the studs. So I'll go ahead and take down my existing fire extinguisher and we'll set this off to the side. To do this, I'll use my stud finder, a measuring tape, and a marking pencil to mark the center. So first I'll use my stud finder to locate the studs. Then grab my measuring tape and locate the center. Now that I've located the center, I'll use my mounting template that came with the easy mount cabinet and secure it to the wall. I'll then use a level to make sure it's straight and trace the outer edge of the template with my marking pencil.
Once I've traced the template, I can now remove the template from the wall and prepare to cut out this section of drywall. For this step, I'll be using a drywall knife. Now that I've finished cutting and I've removed the section of drywall, I'm ready to insert my easy mount cabinet. If we look at the back of the cabinet, we can see that the swing arms are in a closed position. This will allow me to easily insert the cabinet into the opening. Once the cabinet's fully inserted and the bottom of the cabinet tub is resting on the drywall, I can use my Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the swing arms and secure the cabinet to the wall. Note that we don't want to over tighten the screws. Once you have a snug fit, you've successfully installed the cabinet. With the cabinet successfully installed, I can now grab my fire extinguisher and secure it into the cabinet. The provided Velcro strap will secure the extinguisher inside the cabinet so that it doesn't fall. Note that you do not want to install the mounting bracket that comes with the extinguisher. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the wall so that you can see that the extinguisher now protrudes about two inches off of the wall itself. And if we look at the back, the cabinet itself is tightly secured onto the wall. So all I have left to do is sweep up the small amount of drywall dust on the floor and put away my tools. Yes, it was that simple. For telephones, AED machines, hand sanitizers, and other mountable objects that aren't easily recessed into walls or installations on columns and in brick, consider using the Easy Mount Vertical Extension. You can find out more information on the Easy Mount Vertical Extension on our website at easycomplyusa.com. Thanks for watching and remember to use easy comply solutions for when size actually matters.